In the second half of this year, the historic Broad Avenue Arts Alliance will turn the 70-year-old water tower that is in the background here into a monumental mural that's about as colorful as the old loading dock that the district recently turned into an amphitheater, now called the Water Tower Pavilion. Even as it stands tagged by graffiti, the old water tower is a signature feature of the 100-year-old retail district that has experienced a real resurgence in the last uh, seven or eight years. Uh, what we'll have to do, we'll have to go up and do an initial uh, scrape and prime. And so we'll go up and use a really, uh, a really sturdy industrial base primer that is, able to, that is really engineered to go over unstable substrates like that tower has. And so we'll go up, scrape off all the loose debris, and then we paint that with the primer. Then we'll come back in with a, a full-size set of templates and stencils, and we apply those, and then we paint all that. And then it also gets a final coat of um, a really high-grade anti-graffiti UV blocking coating so that if somebody does want to go up and hit it with graffiti, it's, you're able to come up and wipe it off if that needs to be. The actual location of the city on the river. So as you look at it as a top, you know, a normal topographical map, this is how that reads. Now what we really loved is that when it got turned vertical and put on that barrel, it also really plays well as a horizon line. And you know, then that's where I, what I was saying earlier, when it starts to come in and play as like a sunrise over a horizon line. And we, you know, when we picked these colors, we were trying to look and see one, what worked with the water tower pavilion below, but also what really reads as a nice strong color set through all four seasons. And so I think this is a good round color set, but yeah, we're really, uh, I like the image and how it plays in three or four different ways in terms of content and imagery. Had proposals come in from a, a number of uh, artists, and um, uh, we narrowed it down pretty quickly. Okay, and when it came to the board of the Historic Broad Avenue Arts Alliance, looking at uh, what was brought before us, we unanimously voted to accept it. Sounds like a relevant decision. It. it was once we saw what was being offered, it was very easy to say yes. This is what we want. This is what is going to look good. This is what people will like. Uh, this is what's going to say you're on Broad Avenue.